Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. Now I am going to share with you this morning um, the next kit that I'm going to be working with. Well it's not a kit actually, it's background pages but there are 32 of them um, to do my next Easter or spring slash spring journal. Um, I was going to do a two signature but I think I'm just going to make it one because... Um, yeah, if, if somebody buys it for an Easter journal, one signature will, will probably be enough, won't it? So, um, don't know. I'll see. Anyway, <laughs> the papers. So, it is called, it's called, I think it's called the Easter Collection. I've written it down here. Yes, so it's a 32-page Easter Collection um, by Tina, who is Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy and on YouTube. And, um, yeah, 32 pages and it's still only £2 something. Um, yeah, really, really great value. Um you know, if you want some papers to play with spring or Easter, you know, I'm, I tend to think that the ones with the eggs are Eastery, but there's a lot without eggs with bunnies and things like that. Um, that can be spring. Um, to be honest, even the ones with eggs could be spring, couldn't they? But, um, so yeah, lots of, as you expect from Tina, lots of lovely, um, images used in various ways. So we've got the baskets, the eggs, there's even a little cupcake <laughs> here, um, some lovely florals, some lovely colours. And um, yeah, you often get a couple that are similar, but not identical. So that's different there. There's a lot more images on this one, a lot, lot, lot more bunnies on this one. Um, yeah, they look, at first glance, they look similar, but they're not. This one's got a lot more hidden bits and pieces in it. Look at this cupcake here, gorgeous. Um, you know, and these would be brilliant for, because this is like a collage page, isn't it? For, um, oh, did I print two of that one? I think I probably did. <laughs> um, there wasn't three the same, just two. Um, you know, tags and ephemera and cutting apart and things like that. Cute rabbits, rabbits and chicks, you know, spring, isn't it? So that's got like a kind of a pink florally background. We've got the same, um, yeah, the same images on blue, um, stripey uh, background, maybe wallpapery background. Love the harlequin. Um, yeah, I love the pastel colours at the moment as well. Am I in camera there? Sorry. So lots of lovely eggs. Look at that little cutie. <laughs> like I say, brilliant for cutting out or putting onto tags. You, you know, you don't need ephemera with these background pages because making your own would just be so, so easy. So again, one with less on, one with more on. Yeah, just love that harlequin, I really do. They, um, they remind me of, especially this one reminded me particularly, the colours of sugared almonds. Um, I don't, I mean, we have them in the UK, I presume they have them in other countries as well, but sugared almonds, aren't they a beautiful colour? And they, they've got like that texture, that real smooth texture as well. <laughs> yeah, very much remind me of sugar almonds. Not great for your, your teeth if you're, uh, yeah, if you suffer with them a little bit. Fine if you're a kid. <laughs> Again, two. Um, similar but not the same and then we've got this cute little bunny on a lovely green sort of yeah I would call that a wallpapery background lovely though this one for some reason well you can see it got caught in my printer and it's on much much thinner paper so I obviously had a thin piece of paper amongst all the others and um, it was a bit of a shock for the printer you can probably see better on the back look yeah so that's not how it looks like <laughs> and um I printed it again, I think. Yes, I did. I have to put that on in my scrap box, really. I'll leave it in here for now. Yeah, I printed it again, look. Um, and that's the one that's similar. No, no, it's not. That's not similar at all. Completely different. Beautiful. So those two are... This has got the blue hues in it. That one hasn't. More of those sugared almond eggs. And then we've got a purpley pink wallpaper with the rabbits and you know it's one kit fits all isn't it with the 32 pages because if you were doing a, a colour specific um, journal or you could do two or three journals with the kit in different colours love that hat easter bonnet yeah ever, ever been in an easter bonnet parade or an easter bonnet competition i'm sure i have as a child but nothing that i can recall Purpley background again. Got this young lady's vintagey image of the young lady here. Love the chick in the basket. 
Yeah, so similar images. Oh, this is a nice big one. Look at this rabbit there. He's gorgeous. Yeah, you definitely could make a lot of journals out of this because, you know, you wouldn't want 32 pages this full on, would you? You'd, you'd um, have a headache. <laughs> you know, you put some plainer pages amongst them and um, some journaling perhaps. And if, if I had a, a journal made with all these pages, I would really struggle to put a pocket of any description or stick anything on them because they're just, just too pretty. So we're bringing in more of the, um, uh, what are they, receipts and tickets and um, what, written pieces of ephemera. You can just see how many things you could cut out of there if you was using it for a fussy cut. Yeah, I haven't really put them in any kind of order, I don't think. So again, that one's the kind of background to that one. So yeah, thir I mean, 32. Wow, for £2 something. Um, so I, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, well, I'm, I've pretty much decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put two pages together. I'm not going to print on the back of them. I'm going to put two pages together. I think, if it works out, and stitch around them. Um, I see. I saw somebody do it quite a while ago. I think t um, Tanya might have done it once, I don't know. And I really liked them, and it's, it's going to make really thick, chunky pages. So that's what I'm going to do. I've pulled out the cover um, to make the journal with, and then I'm going to... Oh, where's the tags? Where's my tags gone? Yeah. So the tags that I made at the weekend with all the um, spares and scraps. I'm sorry I haven't answered your comments yet. I know there was a few questions in there. I will get to them. Um, I pulled out the, well, I say plainer ones. <laughs> the ones with no decoration on, shall I say. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be using some of these images and some flowers uh, to cover these tags. And these will be used for tuck spots and tags in this journal. Yeah, so I'm not hanging on to these. I'm moving them on. So I will be... Um, I'll be with you <laughs> by the power of video in um, a moment or two with some of that done. Okay, well, I had great fun sewing that. Um, I have got wrist ache now. I, you can probably see I've had a bandage on it all night. I think I have sprained my wrist. I think I said to you last time I was on it was hurting. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've sprained it because it's hurting really bad now. And uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like arthritis. It's completely different. Anyway, stop whinging. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've stitched the ones that I'm using onto um, plain backs of various pastel-y type colours. Oh, that's a, that was some 12 by 12 papers that I had that I just added in, <laughs> as you do. I'm upside down, it would seem. Um, yeah, they, they are gorgeous. Another 12 by 12 paper I just thought would go in here. Um, I don't know if I showed you that one or not. Um, this is from, it's another of Tina's Muted Lace background pages. And it's another another one that's £2 something. I can't remember if I showed you or not. But that I have got one or two bits of that in here. You can see these lovely, how these lovely colours all, all go with these. I think this is going to be my front page because I love that little girly rabbit. Love that dress. Reminds me of a dress that I had on my teeny tiny tears years ago. And I love that bonnet. So yeah, I think that's going to be my my front page. I don't know if you can even see the stitching around them because I've just done it in white. You can, of course, see it on the back. And there are places where there's just a slight um, overhang. Not all of them, but every every now and then. Um, I, may, I may trim it off. I don't know. I'll have to have a think about that. I might just leave it and ink it, you know, because it's nearly impossible to um, to line two pieces of paper up, for me anyway. <laughs> so that's them. Which one was the, the front page? That. Okay, I seem to have the camera a bit low down. I don't know if you're a bit too close. So you, let me just see if I can lift you up a little bit because then I can waft these about <laughs> and get them get them into some kind of order. So how many did I have? One, two, three, four, five, because they're quite thick. They're like card now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. That's more than enough for an Easter journal, isn't it? And, you know, we've got lots of beautiful images and we've got lots of really blank pages. So, well, we should have equal amounts of both. This, 
I stitched around while I was at it while the machine was out. I know you would love to see, but you really can't see anything when my machine's there and it's very noisy, it's very old. So it was the cover, the cover that I showed you. Um, I just stitched some lace top and bottom on the inside, you know, between the two covers before I stitched them together. Uh, some vintage, I think it might have been lace curtain actually. Um, a piece of lace across there to make pockets. And then I just, um, once that was all together, I just put two pieces of Brodie Anglais down the edge because I wanted something showing out the front of here. And I didn't want this border all the way around. And then I just put some, and again I stitched it, um, sort of rick rack trim. It's not rick rack really, is it? But yes, yeah, some trim. Um, I just missed the edge of the, the booklet there, look, but it's caught that lace, so it'll be fine. Um, if I remember when I get my machine out again, I'll catch that up. Yep, so that's what these are going to go in. So I think I think they're going to go lovely, aren't they? So let's um, let's attempt to fold them then because of the stitching. I glued them with glue stick. Um, just here and there. Where's my bone folder? Um, just to hold it still while I stitched it, basically. Not really to glue the pages together. Now my, yeah, that's what I was interested in. Is it going to separate when I, so I have to make sure before I bone fold it that it's the right way in there. It's pushed back in, so that's all right. And of course that's going to be in the signature. So let's, let's do a few and see. So fold it over. I might just trim that up with a knife, I'll see. Fold it a little bit and then go in and see. See if I'm down here. Yeah. I suppose I could have put more glue on the centre piece couldn't I to ensure that didn't move but it's the first time I've done this I'm definitely going to do this yeah that's fine I'm definitely going to do it with a lot of my um, digitals that I've got that are one-sided and I want to put into journals I've um, I have had sessions where I've tried to print on the back of them sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't when you know they've been printed a while so that one folded lovely a bit thicker paper Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to do this. And now, now the folding's working fine. I'm very happy. I wasn't sure if it was going to. And uh, I thought I'd do it with you so you could see if it all went horribly wrong. The really lovely feeling pages with the double two, you know, two pieces. That's a piece of thicker paper, but where's my lady from the front? Oh, my hat's at the back. Look, she's not on the front. I oh, might want my rabbit on the front now then. Yeah, they feel lovely. Can't stop touching them. <laughs> you can tell, can't you? But you can see how thick they are folded over because they're double. You know, I've got 13. Did I say 13? 12, didn't I? 12 pieces, but they're double thickness. So it'd be like having 24, you know, single. Oops. No, we're all right. 24 single sheets in a signature. And they did up at the back as well. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice to do something different. Now I hear that one cracking and moving. The glue that is. So let's let's not be too rough with it till we get it in. Yeah, you can see where it's moved there, but it's it's not stuck out. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, very happy with them. Lovely. This one was just one piece of scrapbooking paper, scrapbook pad paper. So it's not quite as thick as the others, but it's thicker than a normal sheet. Oh. I suppose I had to do some this way. Lovely. I don't mind those edges are different colours actually. The solid colour all the way up, aren't they? And it just looks like there's more pages there. Might just leave them. <laughs> Bit of interest. Can you see what I mean? You can see a little white edge down there. And it's not really offending me at all. I'll do this one inside as well and then I'll go back to outside. I might have to swap some of them round when I put the signature together anyway. They might all have to go the same way so I've got pattern and picture. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Never mind. Well, it doesn't matter if there's two planes together. It's just if I've got two pictures together, I have picked, you know, really busy, 
patterns. I haven't put any plain ones in, so if I get two pattern pages together, I might not like it. it reminds me of a bride, and it's not this little bunny here. I think it's because she's got the mop cap on. She's cute with her umbrella. And then the chicks. Yeah, and I'm not putting any um, book page or anything else like that in it. I am just going with these beautiful double pages. So it would make a lot. It will make a lovely Easter journal. That one's a little bit taller, and that's the one that I have. I got any spare room on it? After me stitching, not a lot. <laughs> it's the one I cut out of the twelve by twelve. So let's try it now, and then if I cut into the stitching, I won't put it in or restitch it. It's just ever so slightly taller than the other. The others. Oh, you still are. That might not end up not going in. I can't see that little bit having made much difference either. Um, yeah, look. Look how much I've taken off. I think it's bigger than that. Unless you're the outside, I'll have a think. Okay, because it's going to be quite chunky when it's put together, isn't it? Right, my back to front. Where's me rabbit? So this is what I'm thinking if I have two planes together. Oh, well, that one's not so bad if I put it with a... No, I think I'm going to have them all that way out. They'll swap over, no problem. And then I've got pattern, then plain, pattern, then plain. I hope this yeah, seems to be seems to be all right. I lost that. <laughs> Should have thought about that a bit sooner than I did. Okay, how many more does this one? Oh, there's only three. I have to turn the other way then. Yeah, it's upset the middle though. Got it going one way and then decided to move it the other. Like I say, it will be in the signature, but I would have preferred not to do that. Never mind. I can always turn it back again if I really hate it once I've got it in. We'll see. Right, let's have a look at them then. Oh, how pretty is that? So I definitely want my rabbit first. Gonna put colours in that I like the look of, and then um, where's my lady with my hat? Hmm, Luster, is that you? Yeah. So the inside covers kind of speaking to me as to what to put next. I guess oh, I don't want two of those together though. Pink and grey. I want two blue ones together, I don't know. Let's put them in and then see. That's what I'm saying. Pink and bright pink. Oh, look, look how... <laughs> didn't think about that either, did I, before I stitched them? Maybe I should have put the signet together and then stitched it. Because I've got like this V go... Well, it's not like a V, it is a V. Yeah, they're very much coming out. Um, but that's how they'll have to be, so that's how they're going to be. So maybe this one will cover. Oh no, it won't that way. But it's fine, isn't it? No, I haven't got that beauty on the front though. Hmm. No, I'm just going to go with those. Let's have a look at them in here. Well, they all fit inside there. That's something. What does it look like as a V? I mean, I could cut it down thin and cut them all off. I don't really want to do that. You know, restitch them. No, I think they're going to be fine. They fit in there all right. It's quite pretty, isn't it? And then when we turn it that way, yeah, just see lots of lovely prettiness. 
Okay, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, there's a lot to sew together. Let's get them clipped in. Crikey, it is thick for sewing. Gosh, <laughs> I've got some uh, work on my hands here, I think. Okay, stay tuned, see what happens. Oh, that's not easy with her. Here's my sympathy bid with a poorly wrist. <laughs> okay. Very noisy these clips aren't they right now i see there i've got a very plain middle do i want to put an envelope of some description or oh, book page i do oh, i want something in the middle oh you only just fit on there um what do i want in the middle i just put a pink envelope in and then i can decorate it with those lovely here <laughs> Ooh. with those lovely images on the other papers so I've got a creamy one sort of a mottled one that looks nice doesn't it so I've got the pink one with the roses inside which I use quite a lot I've got just a thin pink envelope Ooh, we've got a lot of pink going on I think I quite like that one Now I'm wondering if I want two together. Better find out before I stick them in, hadn't I? Oops. I can still cover them and have them as open there. That'll give that bit a bit of strength as well, won't it? Yeah, I think I'll put it in like that, so... Just put some art glitter. Oops. Don't know if you can see, I think you can. Yeah, just go under there a little bit. There we go. Put my nozzle in there. That's it. Hmm. It's alright, I just wasn't squeezing hard enough. I didn't think it was going to come out for a minute. Like I say, this will have some other decoration on it. Oops. When um, we get to decorating it. <laughs> but it's got the double flap there now, so... Yeah, just give it a bit of interest. So we'll have some more of those lovely pages in the middle there. Just wondering if I want another clip on. So we belts and braces this one because, uh, yeah, I am really going to have to fight to get the needle through. Come on, don't be awkward. You don't want to reach, do you? Don't want you twisting. Try it this way. That's better. That middle piece doesn't, that envelope doesn't move about right. Yep, I think we're right. Gosh, experiments on camera. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm brave or stupid. Right, I'm going to go for that plainish one, I think. Which one? This one's thicker and stronger. That's the better colour. Let's go with the better colour. Let me see if I can find my needle. You can see I came prepared. That's not it, that's a real fact. Is it? Oh, it's already got some in it. Okay. I'll give myself plenty of string. One, two, three, and a good bit. Three and a half, probably. At least it's just one signature. I think putting two or three in like this would be uh, tricky. 
Yeah, I can say I've got the glue on me nail varnish look takes it straight off <laughs> okay put the lid in there Oops. have a cup of tea for courage <laughs> mm -hmm. a sip of tea I meant not a cup and where's my grad all there it is so let's just do it shall we the thing is i need to keep it closed as much as possible to keep everything in in its right place so you'll not be able to see what i'm doing and i'm pushing the brad all the way through quite deep so that i can get this through easy all those pages now remember there's no stitching up the middle of the pages so i'm not going through stitching there i'm just going to put one of those little these clips on the end of here so I don't pull it through too far okay now that one was the easy one I think the first one's always the easiest oh my goodness I guess the thing is because I'm not looking am I going right through the middle in the right uh, place is there only one way to find out So it is um, putting quite, I'm putting quite big holes look in there. So I'll probably go around them with some tape um, before I cover them with whatever decoration I'm going for. Okay, now I think this one's going to be the second most trickiest because I have to come from the other way. But I will put this through all the way, like I said before. And gosh. Ooh. Oh no, that was the one I had to come back through for. What am I thinking about? Crazy woman. I was thinking I was coming back in from the outside. I've already... Have I gone wrong? <laughs> yes, you were going back from the outside. You just got your string in the wrong place. You noodle. Right, please don't move. Let me get my Brad back in. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what's occurring. I'm confused now. Oh, I am going that way. Oh, heck. Just fast forward me. I've got myself in a tizzy and that's come off there. Look. Yeah, I couldn't decide if I was going in or out. I went one way and decided it was wrong and it was right. That's it. <laughs> Then confuse myself looking at it. Okay, this is the trickiest bit is going back through here. Now, I think apart from the envelope, I'm all the way through. I might be wrong. I am. So making those holes really big um, was definitely, I'm going to undo this now, I'm through. Give me a bit more room. Whoops. Was definitely the way to go. Yeah, big holes. Big holes make it easy for sure. I nearly did it again then. Okay, have I gone through myself? Have I sewn through me? My own cotton. Do you know what I mean? No, I haven't. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, apart from fooling myself into thinking I'd done something wrong when I hadn't, that went pretty well. I'm just going to tie one knot and then see. Just to hold it in place. Make sure I've... Hold it tight. That's it. Take these off. Fingers crossed. It does look pretty, doesn't it, with all that lace around it? Yep. Lovely. I don't think I can get that any tighter without ripping it. Okay. And I'm thinking I might straight away put some tape on those so that they don't get ripped between now and me decorating it so I'm just going to go actually over the for now because it will come off again this if I want it to actually over that string in the middle but over that hole because it did make 
quite big holes with some magpar tape. Yes, I've got nice long threads because I left it. <laughs> okay, that went easier than I thought it was going to. So let's see. Yeah, it's definitely going to need um, some ribbon around it to tie it down. Um, they will become flatter with use. I'm loving this pocket with this on the inside. Okay, there's my rabbit. Love him. I've got a lot of plainer ones at the front. Yeah, I'm quite liking the plain side and the pretty side. In fact, I'm liking it very much. I think that was the way to go. So we can have journaling on here with, you know, an odd embellishment and pockets and tucks on some of these. You know, that'd be a lovely place for a pocket, wouldn't it? And that's lovely for journaling on. Oh, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Considering it was a, you know, a let's try this and see. And that's my centre, which, you know, will have something beautiful from the kit on it. Oh, it's going to be nice to, to work on. So I'm only going to have one more video fill in it because then it needs to go to a home somewhere, hopefully, in time for Easter or spring because we're practically there, aren't we? Yeah, I'm loving it with all these pastely, plain pastely colours at the side. There's my beautiful hat, my beautiful bunny. Love it. Yeah, you can see the middle's chunky, but it's going to lie okay. It'll be fine for journaling on. Again, lovely pocket there, and I think you could journal on that lacy page. Same there. Oh, <laughs> cute. Yeah, and then we can have some nice ephemera pieces in here, can't we? So yeah, it'll be it'll need to be under a book, but not for too long, I think. Just to keep it flat. I just I'm I'm just leaving that very plain because I think it's beautiful. I think the embroidery um on that um what is it? What kind of material is it? Upholstery material is beautiful. Of course it will have some beautiful beads on there. But yeah, loving those pages. Okay, let me know if you enjoyed seeing that or if uh, I had you on the edge of your seats. Um yeah, can't wait to um put the, the other bits and pieces in it. What day is it? It's going to be Thursday when you see this. Friday is the book cover so I'll be doing another book cover on Friday and then the weekend we do different things so it will be Monday when we finish this one and my other Easter one Monday Tuesday so I'll have both my Easter ones done um, and ready to go to a new home and then we'll be starting another another kit. Okay so I will see you with this on Monday if this is one you're looking um, to watch me play with with all these beauties and uh yeah tomorrow if you're looking for an easy patchwork cover that's what we'll be up to tomorrow okay hope you have a lovely afternoon and um yeah remember to give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye for now